Tier 8 and still on biomass power. Tier 8 still on biomass power, baby. All right, let me load up status and then we'll go. I hope you guys enjoyed Flame Trench and then the Intrepid Astronauts as well for Astronomy Night. That was cool. That was, uh, that was cool. It's always, always cool hearing them talk. All right, let's do this. What were we doing? I think I completed what I was trying to do. Uh, yeah, we we need aluminum sheet here. Let's see if the titans have any. Hello, titans. You have some novelists. That's cool. Circuit boards. This is doggos. Look at all of my doggos. What are you doing? Look at all the doggos. What about the doggos? Hello. Can they give slugs? What do you think? Yes, they can. All right, we were looking to scale concrete, I think. That's where we were at. We gotta make the concrete go the faster. Let's see if we can upgrade this to a Mark II miner. Oh. Oh, it already is. Goes fought a lot. Fart a lot? What are you what are you feeding them? Oh, uh berries. Do you ever think a commercial analog of the neutral buoyancy laboratory would be viable? It seems odd that parabolic flight simulated low gravity. Is I guess less viable than potentially scuba diving. Great work on the flame trench today. Yeah, sure, crappy. Yeah, I, that would be great. Is this an impure? Oh, it's impure. That's the problem. I was like, why the hell does this thing suck so much? It's producing 150 per. Let's see if we can find other limestone. That's not that. I guess not. What's this one? Also impure. Because this is a... What note is this? Oh, it's pure. That's why. This thing produces like a 
like a beast. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. take our 2x2 two two constructor blueprint, right? There we go. There we go. Let's go. Configure all the machines so we can watch the whole thing turn on all at once and be super happy about it. I'm trying to scale up concrete here, that's what we really want to do. Got one right here. You have a pure node not far from you. This is the pure one right here.
Great flame trench. Thanks, Pat. Were you not able to get onto the flame trench this week? The first one on the left is not overclocked. Yeah, I was, I, we just finished it. it. They, they had a short flame trench this week, uh, because they, there was a, uh, live Q and A with astronauts from the, uh, from Intrepid. So yeah, they, they ran it short and because they ran it short, I, uh, I went back to playing satisfactory, dude. Our, the, con the rate of concrete production that I'm looking for, guys, is uh, 70 a second. Yeah, that's the rate. Hey, hey chosen one. No one. Chosen one! Tier two. 75, thank you very much. What are these things whining about up here? I'm just watching the production to see if Saturate eventually. Why not wet concrete? I don't have any water set up, Cordell. Minor polling, 600 a minute. Discovery, go and drop station. up. I was disappointed to not see the Jeep on the plane trench, but it's okay. Thank you for nine years of entertainment. Dude, I, I asked and they were like, I'm like, ah, oh, come on. I was, I was bumming, dude. I was bumming. Saturated eventually, I think. Maybe we should feed in parallel. How much does the tier four belt move? 480 RPM. And this thing is producing 600 per minute.
disconnect the output till it saturates. Uh, we can do that too if you want. Pretty sure this is not how you should do this, but yeah, you know, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Let it saturate. Jack did slip in the word trucks, though. Indeed, he did. Imagine going home from work and see people geek out about your 90 year old character on the news. Yeah. It, guys, it's a joke. It's the cars. Joke. I'm not a Jeep guy, if you really want to know. Maybe an old one, but not a 94 Cherokee. It's, but it's funny. Yeah, it's a funny hat. Okay, there we go. And there we go. We'll see if this thing can saturate. Das is uh, still doing the members multi stream. That's cool. Neato burrito. I was curious about speed runs for this game. Someone has managed to complete all phases in 20, 21 hours. Is Atlas the only American rocket that has done a stage and a half? Shuttle. All right, Pat. Have a good weekend. Yeah, it's shuttle stage and a half, dude. I mean, right? Like, down. I think. I think that makes sense. Yeah, we're not gonna fully saturate. Is that simply because of space saving? Yeah, rebel. With parallel, we could get a higher throughput, but this is this is much 
yeah, this thing doesn't take up nearly as much space. Your production rate's a little bit lower towards what it could be, though. All this is gonna do is just drain these belts. This thing is up to the challenge though, dude. I think we just need Mark three belts, like, or Mark five belts. if we change those to threes and see what it does. Curiosity needs a spare wheel. Yeah, that one, well, I mean, that one's been up there for a little while, but yeah. Huh. Somebody, you should send somebody up there and change the tire. You need 900 per minute to satisfy everything. Yeah, we're only at 600 with a full overclock. Unless we can summer spin this thing, but I don't think we can. Yeah, Skyrider, that's parallel, that's parallel delivery. We're series delivery right now. But yeah, I, I actually don't think we need this last one. This last manifold, we don't, we don't need it. It's never gonna use it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Let's see if this starts getting four out of three. Could be, could be better. Parallel delivery, we uh, we could probably do this better. I don't really have the space here to do that. This should be fine for now. Uh, let's go see what the other crappy concrete factory is doing. You only get 480 because of the conveyor belt limitation, pretty much. But it'll saturate the first two, so it's not the worst, but yeah. Hey, Tycho's. Hey, Cable. Hey, geez. Control rods. Aluminum casings. Rotors. Plastic. Thank you. Look at all these boys. What are you doing over there, boy? Did you seriously put toys in their pen to play with? Well, yeah, of course. Look at they got they got some Sam. They got a crystal oscillator. They got all kinds of slug slug chewy toys. It's great. Gotta keep them happy. Or they'll get restless. I think I have wet concrete. 
this thing. Ah, Doing something special, my friend. Thank you. Alright, let's go, um... Drop some concrete out there. Did I see that the doggos can now have toys? They don't have... I just dropped a bunch of objects in their, uh... In their... In their pen thing that I made. They don't, like... They don't have toys. I find that making, like, filling in the sand dune floor is... tried blueprinting yet yeah it doesn't really do what we want man if you fill in the floors then yeah sure um like i have a test piece like see filling in the floor here see dragon would is a good idea watch like here big clunk big concrete test i have just basically a big blueprint size block i found that you can attach them sideways too but getting it to fill in the sand how i want is not really gonna work how I want, if that makes any sense. You gotta fill in the floor first. If we can get this to a relatively flat configuration, dude, then yeah, then we're, we're set to jet. You get to this point, we could blueprint the heck out of this thing. But at that point, I don't see it really being any different than just uh, zooping stuff, you know? I mean, if I wasn't such a pain in the butt and, like, see, if you get it to this point, then we can blueprint the heck out of it, but...
But I'm totally content with just doing this. This is fine. It's not gonna take very long if we just grind it out. In fact, the time, in my mind, the time it's gonna take to figure out a good blueprinting method for this, I could have just finished it. Not everything needs to be like superbly crazy, crazily optimized, you know? Like, look, we already got a good deal of this done. Not gonna lie, blueprints would be nice. The, con the constant concrete bagging sound. Yeah. I mean, I could always, so I could always make a blueprint that's just supports. But do we really want to do that? It's gotta be done right. It's gotta, we gotta do it right. This is what I mean about needing 70 concrete. I think I need to find every limestone deposit, put it to concrete, shove it into uploaders. Speaking of that, we should probably go find like a Mercer Spear or something. not have wet concrete I actually do think that we do I don't nope don't have that unlocked the range. Right click. Oh, thank you. No, we don't we don't have that.
What do you think? We're, what do you think? We're like an eighth of the way done. There's got to be a way to do this, footprints. Because then I could just, you know, maybe if we did it with prints, we could just wait until we have enough. So that blueprint is 40 by 40, right? These are eight, so we're, we can place a five by five plate for the most part. That be that could be 25, 25 concrete per click as opposed to 10. Yeah, it's just getting the blueprints to snap. If I had a blueprint where we could say, we could have the placement point right there and it, it's like from the top instead of from the bottom, that'd be great. Is there going to be a basement underneath the flame trench? I was gonna fill it. a snap to blueprint button. What do you mean, Yard? Hockeys will show up placing a blueprint next to another snap to blueprint. Alright, hold on. Okay. Oh, let's uh, visit the doggos first. Make sure they're okay. Are the doggos okay? Are they safe? Table. Explosives. Plates. I do need those. Purple power slug. High speed connectors. Rebar. Quartz. And turbo motors. Ah! Oh. That's okay. Good finds, dudes. your purple and blue power sludge. How in the world are you tier 8 with only biomass? Doggos. And, uh... The doggos give me all the weird parts that I need. And I am thomas looping all of the woodsy stuff that I collect. Yeah, we're using Somers loop. Uh, so I take the leaves, wood, and mycelia, right? Somers loop it, double the biomass output, put that into another constructor, take the biomass to solid biofuel, double that output. So you quadruple the amount that you get. Yep, Somers loops. And because you can belt feed biomass, yeah, now it's fine. Yep. 
plenty of fuel. Biomass is actually super, super good. 450 megajoules per unit. That's a lot of energy for not a lot. Like, that's more than coal. Way more than coal. Yeah, JSL. It's this whole... I have a very simple factory, too. I have one manufacturer, three assemblers, and a couple of arrays of constructors. Yeah, and between that and the doggos giving me all the parts that I need, like, look, I have a bunch of purple power slugs just hanging out. Purple, yellow, blue, whatever. They give me all kinds of stuff, dude. Like, see, they give me heat sinks, they give me turbo motors. Turbo motors are handling the awesome shop, so I got all the stuff that I need. I think I just have turbo motors lying around. We have aluminum. I have tons of aluminum stuff, mycelia, whatever. And then this thing, I take hog protein for spitter. There you go. Make DNA capsules. Quartz in there. I got smart plates. We got Sam. I got a bunch of stuff. Man. I have more crystal oscillators than I know what to do with. And those things are not easy to make. They're, they take forever. The idea is that I'm teching to build something huge. Um, that, if you really want to know. I'm going to build that, I'm gonna, and I'm going to build my big factory in there. But I want to get all the tiers before we do that. I think we can get a good amount of them. Okay, blueprint mode, huh? I got an idea. Yarg, that might work. It might do it, guys. Let's see. Um, we gotta find the low point. Pretty sure that the low point is right on that coal ore. Like if I So that's like the lowest point here, right? And now this is, this is not the most efficient way of doing this because a bunch of stuff is going to be stuck in the um, the ground that we basically can never get back. But like if I place that blueprint, right? We place the print. snap yeah that's at the low point as long as we hit the low point yeah we could snap there like this is just a hollow cube but all right okay 
Because that's the low point, you know? Been out for most of the day. Oh, hey Galactic, welcome back. I shouldn't have, I gave up my doggos because they're all over the place. How do you get them all home? You gotta walk back, Golden. They'll follow you as long as you're in line of sight. So, get one with a pale berry, name him, and then just walk back. I walked back with eight of these things. Yeah. It took some time, but we did it. Yeah, you just gotta be patient, dude. I wish I wish they had like a doggo jump seat in the truck or something. That would be cool. Because yeah, I would I would drive out with the truck and come back with the doggos. But yeah, if you like notice when I when I jump down, they're all gonna notice me. Then they all start walking towards you. Nuclear novelisk, alright. More circuit boards. Boards. Staters. Plate. Can you imagine? Yeah, having their heads out the window. I like, I missed opportunity from Coffee Stand, dude, to be honest. But yeah, they've given me eight nuclear novelists. I tested one for science. I tested one for science. We'll just leave it at that. It was a pretty awesome explosion. Not gonna lie to you. Maybe you should do a second test to confirm the data. <laughs> think, I think about it. Actually, that reminds me. What else? Is there anything else that we need? Mark II outlets would probably be good. Asphalt Foundation. Clicking the pin icon will make it stay at the top. All right. Pretty sure we got everything. I don't care about the industrial walkways. I don't want those. Parts purchase confirmed. Promotion delayed by X times part value plus fix it stock value. I'm gonna use up all my encased, but we got more. Nine more. What is the general plan? Another building with a central core or more spread out this time? 
I am going to build that. And I'm going to build my factory inside of it. And I'm going to make the dry, the dry dock umbilicals, the, um, the resource elevators. And then in the dry dock area, like, uh, and in this area right here, we'll have a train hub. Sound good? And drones flying in and out. Yeah, exactly. Drones flying in and out of the cargo holds. Because we can. Yeah, so... Galactic, if you look in the background there, that is a cross-section of a hull segment that we're gonna have to do. That is the height of the ship at its wide, at its tallest. That's the height at its widest. And if you see that row, that's the ship at its longest. Uh, that whole segment design, the uh, the octagons, is that. See, there is some lore in the Halo universe about how this thing was made. That's how it's made. What about factory carts? We can have those too. So, you see how it's six octagons up, and then four wide. There you go. See? It's doable with the fabricator. There's a, there's a, a segment. That's what it's going to look like when it, these hexagons are extruded, or octagons are extruded. Use the hypertube as a railgun. Yeah, yeah, of course. enough for Mark V logistics. Ooh. Next. Milestone reached. Fixit dedicated this milestone to the conveyor belt and lift Mark V. They may be implying that your factory could be further optimized. While they are correct, I believe they are setting unreasonable expectations. Having all of humanity very definitely relying on your work is a lot of pressure. It's a good thing I'm here. Computers. Definitely need those. Guys. Boy. Nice.
Pillin, you should have a sink at the end of the production get line. You get so many tickets. Um. Yeah. I just, yeah, I just really haven't built an end but we could. Are you doing it at the end of every line? Butter? Yeah, I mean, that's not really going to work with the biomass, I don't think. Uh, that was me. We gotta make a trip uh, out to the oil. We gotta go to the oil field real quick. Sonic booms just heard at the space shuttle. Wait a minute. No, that couldn't have been. Because that's running off of its own oil power. I know what it was, it was the Caterium line. Go make a visit over there. Anything about oil, chat? You cooking? Oil? Oil? Could be Sam, but why would it be? Could be my Sam or side. Doggos, any of you want to give me an aluminum shape, a sheet, shape, whatever. Pro rods are good. Explody boys are good too. Oh, dude. All right. Thank you. And I post that demo gift to some friends. Yeah, go ahead.
Dagos is a demolitions expert, apparently. Yep. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a trip out to the oil. Oil. Have to binge watch on top here. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, you get you can watch them pretty much all on Prime for preview. Guess what planet this isn't? The the the, the, the cold one. system. Doggo? I don't have any pale berries. Crap. Um, okay. Okay, here's what we gotta do. We gotta shut that off for a second. We gotta turn that one on. And we gotta build up enough pressure in the line. Thank you. 
just batteries. Skip coal? Yes. Guess I did. Uh, screw coal. I don't need that. I Summers Loop biomass to make you know solid biofuel, and then Summers Loop the solid biofuel and quadrupled the amount, and then just been belt feeding that basically since. Every once in a while, you gotta go tend to it, but yeah, it's fine. All right, so we gotta prime these lines here. That's the thing. We prime. Prime them, right? We're, we're powering off the biofuel here. And then, okay, that's fine. Shut that off. Now flip this sucker back on. Let this thing do its thing. It'll start making fuel. Fuel will feed the generators. Now that the bulk of fuel generators are on, you take this, flip this on. No YouTube streaming. I shut it off. I shut it off because the flame trench, dude. We didn't prime it enough. Yeah, the Clem, you're right. We should sink, sink rubber and plastic. Just smart split them, though. Um. That's what happened over here. That's why we ran out of power, because these things shut off and stopped producing fuel for the generators, and then the biomass wasn't enough to sustain everything as a backup system, which is fine. That makes sense. Um... Well, I have a smart splitter figured out. Yeah. We, we, we gotta make some AI limiters. As I'm starting to feel real tired all of a sudden. I might dip out of racing tonight if you guys don't mind. I, I It's just GT3s at Brands Hatch. I just, yeah, really. I lost all my energy all of a sudden after Flame Trench. Tired, boss. And I gotta wake up with Crew 9 is in the morning. Shh. I'm not gonna not, I'm not missing Crew 9, guys. I'm sorry, it's not happening. When's Crew 9? Coverage begins at 9 a.m. Yeah, I, I, uh, I mean, I gotta, yeah, I gotta stream again tomorrow. Uh, at least it's not 5 a.m. That's right, see last one you can. Just saw this. Repulsive landings, yeah. Weird.
Yeah, guys, I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna get some sleep tonight. Um, let me let me tell Max and everybody. I'm sorry. We'll we'll race again next week. Um, Um, all right, well, we'll fix this. We'll fix this problem. Um, we'll fix this problem on Tuesday. Uh, guys, uh, I'm, I'm going to stop for now. Uh, this was a long week, dude. And well, it's not finished yet. I got to, we got to stream tomorrow. So we'll get some crew nine coverage tomorrow. Um, and yeah, it should be good. We will continue this satisfactory build on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday is when we're going to do that. So, yeah. I'm going to get some sleep so we can wake up. Coverage should, for Crew 9 should pick up at 9 a.m. if I'm looking at that right. Here, let me just double check it to be sure. Weather officers predict a 55% favorable condition. The cumulus cloud rolls weather concerns. Yeah, they're going to start. Whenever whenever they start up is when I'm going to start. So I'll see you guys in the morning. If it scrubs, uh, I don't know. I'll figure out something. But anyway... I'm going to be preemptive and be responsible. If it goes to Sunday, I'll see you on Sunday. So once again, don't do that. Bro. Dang it. What time is crew nine? At 117 liftoff, 117 PM liftoff time. But the coverage is going to start way before that. And that's what I want to see. So um, I'll see you guys then. Uh, yeah. If it moves to Sunday, yeah, we'll uh, see. NASA starts at 9 AM. All right, cool. I'll see you guys at 9 a.m. Thanks, Mick. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go grab some sleep. I'm just going to rest up just to be sure because, yeah, I haven't done a six-day schedule in a long time. And we've been streaming a lot lately. And you guys have been very supportive this week. I, I do appreciate it. I just wanted to say that. Uh, yeah, you guys have been awesome. I really appreciate it. It really, really, really helped me out. Uh, yeah. So, hey, Cryberry, go sleep. Good sleep. Thanks, man. Thank you for the 100 the other day. I didn't forget that. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the morning. And if not, I'll see you guys on Sunday. If oh, it doesn't go oh, on... Oh, oh, this is space. I'm in space. True nine. Okay. If it doesn't go on Sunday, I'll see you on Monday, and I hope you have a good weekend. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night.